Welcome back everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 1.5 Resurrection. We are uh, still in the Royal Palace in Albuquerque, and well, the Imperial Palace actually, and we've just gotten this rather interesting Pulse Weapon Research uh, Holodisc, which we've been reading. They've been doing an analysis of the YK, um, YK-32 pistol. Unfortunately, not the YK-32B Pulse Rifle. Despite the novel solution of the model YK-32 structure, it's obvious that it's not possible to concentrate all the necessary systems. Uh, that is, pulse field generators, radiation rectifiers, cooling systems, feedback eliminators, power accumulators, into a small one-handed weapon that would be simple to operate but would also be sufficient uh, of sufficient combat value to us. Low range and small energy capacity seem to be the critical factors. The pulse weapon itself needs to be designed from the beginning as a large two-handed rifle of generous design, one that is able to contain everything that needs to be there. This will make it possible to significantly increase the efficiency of the weapon. As for the structural elements, yeah, talk about the YK-32B. It is worth trying to emulate the design of the YK-32 primary circuits. The particle generators can be taken over without problems, and thinking of something better may not even be possible. The original diagnostic and regulatory mechanisms are also suitable. However, the feedback elimination systems will be more complicated. Adapting the system from the pistol to the higher power of the rifle may be problematic. On the other hand, the higher mass of the body of the weapon will be very helpful here. As for the accumulator charging and transformation systems, it will be best to adapt them from the creation of the Winchester company, as they are uh, more massive and can handle higher energy values than the delicate Yuma Flats accumulators. We will have to develop the targeting electronics, uh, which the YK-32 completely lacks, ourselves, or stick with a system developed near the end of the war by Watts Electronics. The development of our own targeting system will be, of course, uh, will of course take several months. On the other hand, the Watts Electronics system may not be fully compatible with the rectifiers and the generators of the pulse field. It will be necessary to carry out a more thorough research in this regard. Hopefully, they give us a prototype to test out in the wild. The development of the pulse rifle will no doubt take a long time, and its manufacture will require a significant amount of resources. However, the Empire already possesses the necessary materials. If we choose to go into the direction of pulse technology, the resulting weapon could be superior to all other personal weapons, both from the purely technological side as uh, for its tactical combat value. Complete design plans of the YK-32 pulse pistol. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, this is probably something they want outside here. But if I could get my hands on the YK-42B... No, YK-30... Oh yeah, that's the YK-42B, isn't it? I knew you'd be back soon. Serving the Emperor is the highest honor atta attainable in life. It would be unwise to let such an opportunity slip between your fingers. Can I count on you then? Fair enough. Not for now. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so this is just like before a decision we can take later. Is this locked? It is, and I will always save before trying to lockpick these because suddenly we may get attacked. But this place seems to have quite a bit of information. Um, I just want to get my hands on some nice energy weapons. Alright, let's go over here. Let's go outside the pal- oh yeah, wait, that's not outside, that's I mean it is outside but it's just like a park or something. And I don't think any of these people can be talked to. No, they're just dwellers. Dweller. Dweller. So what's this? So this is across the road from the palace. This should be the um, supply officer, which should be the shop. Hello, I'm Marjorie Dendridge, the supply officer. You can call me just Marjorie. I know you foreigners aren't much for formality. Have you come to trade? Hello, Marjorie. Maybe I have. What does... Uh, oh... I think I, large, uh, I like Marge more. Hello, I'm Metal. <laughs> uh, that's nice, but let's stay with Marjorie, okay? What do you need, Metal? What does the supply officer do? Ah, of course, you're here for the first time. I'm in charge of distributing supplies to the dwellers. Basically, I make sure every dweller has what he needs. But I'm also authorized to trade with foreigners. To that end, I'm authorized to make use of the most common currency, caps. That's why I asked if you're here to trade. Mm, the dwellers just get everything they ask for? I know you foreigners have trouble believing or understanding that. The dwellers get everything they need uh, to live and do their job. 
That's a bit different than getting everything they ask for, but usually no one complains. We don't really lack anything. We have no currency, the dwellers have no need of caps. My office is the only store in the whole city, set up precisely for foreigners. Hmm. Uh, if the caps have no value here, could you give some to me? A few thousand, perhaps? She smiles. You're not the first one to ask, you know. They really have no value to us, but outside the city they are currency and a cheap means of trade with the outside world for us. Furthermore, we make sure to never issue too many caps. Inflation wouldn't help anyone. It's complicated, but in short, no. I don't just hand out caps. Uh, what goods do you trade with? We sell various technical equipment, energy cells and medicine. We only rarely sell weapons. Some decommissioned energy pistols at best. I mention that because that's the first thing most foreigners ask. Yeah, I was about to ask as well. On the other hand, we mainly buy Brahmin meat and cereals. Basically fresh quality food with minimum radiation. We also require a large amount of mineral resources, but that doesn't really have anything to do with you. Hmm, interesting. Should go back to the mining town. On a small scale, I'm willing to buy anything that has some value. Alright, let's trade. What the hell is that? Chris Super 5 SMG? <clears throat> 14 millimeter. Wow. And it's an SMG. There's a laser pistol, which is quite powerful, actually, in its own right. The prices are... Eh, they're high, but not too horrible. I got some microfusion cells, which will come in handy later. I'm gonna get rid of the uh, pulse grenade, because, well, my throwing is just pretty bad. Uh, empty hypodermic. I'm gonna keep for now. She can have the grenades. She can have this. Um, hmm. I think for now that's it. Just need a bit of caps. There we go. Alright, she doesn't have anything else of interest. The bloody stupid motion sensor. Oh yeah, it does give you, um... 20% outdoorsman. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Thanks. That will do. Thanks. Hmm. I was kind of hoping they would have something more. I'm assuming they will not be very happy if I go in there. Ah, now this is actually an electronic clock, as you can see. That does nothing. So, we can try to use the electronic clock pick, which is immediately successful. Um... And we can't really loot anything here. Brilliant. That's right. And this is probably locked as well. That's a storeroom. You're not allowed there, obviously. Okay, well, that's a shame. So there's another part. This is probably just a house. Well, let's see. Emperor Miserel may be old, but he is a good ruler. Yeah, just dwellers. Can I get in there? Yes, I can. Not even gonna. Well, uh, yeah, I'm gonna check these. Oh, yeah. He tries to pick up the entire container. I think I need to do it from this side, yeah. Yeah, there's nothing there. All that digging, and there's nothing there. So I'm assuming all this. Ooh, he likes to look at the wall. So I'm assuming all of this. All of these other places will be just be houses. A tribal! No, 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 don't try to pick it up. Just try to loot it. Hmm. So do these people have anything? The answer is a resounding no. It's kind of a shame. So that's the palace, right? The carbone boy is very rude. Who's the carbone boy? Or Car yeah, carbone. If it was carbon, there would be an E there. Soldier. Uh, dweller. A dweller. Alright, let's go to the other part of the um, <clears throat> Imperial place. That's probably towards the vault. Should be interesting, even though we're not allowed there. There's more houses here, which I'm assuming... <clears throat> Yeah, I'm assuming they're all just houses. That's quite kind of cool. Oh, I don't know you. Why are you bothering me? Did you come to see my idiotic parents? They're home, just so they could yell at me the whole day. I'm just looking around. What's your name, boy? I'm Mario Carbone. There he is. Now get lost. I don't want to talk to you. Being stuck at home is bad enough. Stupid parents. 
Why don't you like your parents? They want to send me into the army. My old man came up with that crap, said it'd be a great career. Blah. And my mother won't help me. Says that it'll make me stop doing mischief like I did last month. What a load of shit. Isn't it enough that I'm grounded because of that? Aren't you a bit too young for the army? Stupid imperial army accepts recruits of my age. It's because they need someone to boss around so they could feel better about themselves. I know a few boys and even one girl who was sent there. Now they're mindless zombies. My dumbass parents probably just want to get rid of me. Want me to get killed by some disgusting mutants or a brain-dead tribal. What did you do? My former friends didn't believe me when I said I could pick their pockets uh, without them noticing, so I showed them. When they found out they were missing a few things, they made a lot of fuss and told their parents I robbed them. Damn crybabies. Mother started screaming like crazy and father beat me up. I hope they die. Well, you should listen to your parents. They, uh, they only want the best for you. Kill them. What? <laughs> I'll leave you beat by. Wow, kill them? Seriously? There they are. Let's go talk to them then. What you're doing to your child is wrong. There's no better career in the Empire than the army. We're so worried about our son. Well, should I tell him to uh, listen to them? You should listen to your parents. What the hell do you know? Right, adults stick together. Joining the army is a great idea. They'll make you into a real man. You'll get to shoot from a gun. They'll teach you how to fight and kill. You'll be a tough guy. Nobody messes with an imperial soldier. Yeah, I could kick the shit out of every idiot that pet pisses me off. That's true. I didn't think of that. And I wouldn't have to stay with my annoying parents. They just keep me locked in here and preach their crap to me. The army can't be any worse. There you go. Good luck in your new life. Oh, well, we didn't get any... uh we didn't get any XP for that. Excuse me, but I think they shouldn't let any foreigners into the city. I've no doubt that our sun god has impertinence from people like you. Hmm, I kind of just helped you. Backless bastards. This looks like a bar of some sort. And it is. I kind of doubt they'll uh, serve me. You can't buy anything. We have no currency. Oh yeah, of course. Well, let's just get out of here. What's this big building here? These ones are probably just more, uh... Ooh, there's a big-ass turret there. These ones are just... No, there's a toilet there. Ew. And a shower. Well, yeah. Houses need showers. Actually, now that I think about it, I didn't see any showers and toilets in the normal houses. Hmm. This might be, uh an upscale house, but they don't have any currency, so I don't know. Let's just check this one as well, just to be sure they're not hiding anything from us. No, same stuff as before. With a girl, well, or, yeah, none of these people are named. Heavy laser turrets. I don't think I've ever seen those things in action, actually. Or have I in Fallout 2 in Vault City? I might have. Attack them just to check it out. Well, now what is this place? Oh, this is probably the hospital. Anonym must be such a disgusting person. Hmm. The Velasquez widow's son is missing. Poor thing. Interesting. Soldier, a man. Will he talk to us? What do you want here? Who are you? Sorry, just looking around. Then go look around somewhere else. Will he shoot me if I uh, check through his stuff? Leave that be. Oh yeah, he's not very happy. But I don't know. It kind of looks like a hospital, but at the same time, not really. Please, leave me alone. The last thing I need is to be bothered by some... She looks at you with a disgust foreigner. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bother you. I'll poke your eyes out for that. <laughs> Don't get your panties in a bunch, I'm leaving. I didn't mean to bother you. She pauses. No, I'm the one who should be apologizing. You're surprisingly well-mannered for someone from the outside world. My name is Lorraine Velasquez. Oh, it's her. It's just that I'm too worried to be in the mood to chat. Wait, since you're not from around here, maybe you can help me. What is it? My son Felix has gone missing. I have no idea where he could be. I'm afraid something bad might have happened to him. He's only 10 years old. He's the only thing that... 
She almost breaks into tears but manages to stop herself. I'm sorry, you're obviously not here to listen to me whining. Let me start from the beginning. That should be for the best. I wanted Felix to sign up for the Imperial Army. It would have been great for his future. Even he wished to join. He wanted to be like his father, even though he never knew him. The last thing I've seen uh, him uh, was when he went to the Imperial Palace to see the recruitment officer. My little Felix. What happened to his father? He died defending Albuquerque against those horrible ghouls. During their second big attack, they managed to break through our defenses. Many Imperial soldiers died then. You can't imagine how it felt when I found out that he was among the fallen. I lost my beloved husband, pregnant with a child that would never follow, uh, know his father. You can see her trying to hold back tears. We were talking about the disappearance of your son. What did that recruitment officer say? Colonel Brown said that Felix wasn't accepted, so he sent him home. But that can be true. Felix would have come straight home. He wouldn't run away. He's not like that. And the city is safe, so what could have happened to him? I had no reason to leave it. I think the colonel knows something. I'm not saying he hurt my son, but I have a feeling he knows something about his disappearance. But he denied that, and he wouldn't tell me anything. Nobody else will help me. A colonel in our army has a practically untouchable position. Nobody has a reason to doubt his word. But I bet he's hiding something. Whoa, wait a second. Is the colonel selling people from here to those... Um, Horrible organ traders outside. Uh, I'll look for your son. What's the reward? If you like, I could try to find Felix. Thank you. Please bring him back in one piece. I'll have a pass into the city arranged for you in my name. I don't want to lose my son. I just couldn't bear that. I'll do everything I can. Interesting. That's a quest worthy of our uh, attention. So I kind of... you know, You know how they said before that the spies are all over this place can I talk to some children about him no um it might be that the colonel himself is way is on the pay list let's go and uh, have a few words with him due to our high speech that shouldn't be too much of a problem Colonel Parson is that him yes I think so Oh. Wait. Which colonel was it then? Felix. Felix. Okay. Uh, it's the recruitment officer, but where is the recruitment officer then? Wait. Soldier. Colonel Parson. Uh, I thought that was him. Oh wait, it's this guy, right? No, that's advisor Aaron. I'm confused. You again. You're really just starting to try my patience. Trying your patience? I'd advise you to stop provoking me for your own good. Hmm. What about her? Nope. <laughs> oh wait, it's this guy. Of course. I think, actually. No. <laughs> Brown. What do you know about a boy called Felix Velasquez? Felix Vela... Oh no, his mother sent you, didn't she? I've already told her that I haven't seen him after he left here. Is she accusing me of something? I understand she's worried, but I wouldn't expect that. I knew her husband for crying out loud. Okay, but don't you have even the slightest idea what could have happened to him? Anything that could help? You won't let it go, will you? Look, I can't help you. Nothing I heard can be taken seriously, and I highly doubt it has anything to do with Felix's disappearance. So you do know something. Go on. I wouldn't feel too good spreading rumors. It could have dire consequences, you know. I don't know and you're a stranger after all. I cannot be sure you would treat that information confidently. How can I gain your trust? For that, we would have to know each other closer. He unexpectedly caresses your arm. What the hell? I'm a strong believer in the magic of that most intimate moment. When you give your way to passion, uh... It can uncover the very nature of a person. You see them as they really are, not as they appear to be. Oh, so this is what you're after. You're not into women, then. I prefer neither sex. I can enjoy great intimacy with both men and women. To refuse one means to deprive oneself of half the experience. It is the diver the, the, the blah blah. It is the diversity that attracts me. But with you, there is the additional benefit and unique opportunity to take on it all with a stranger. You folk are different than the people of the Empire. You're more animalistic, more wild. 
I ask for nothing more than a couple of moments you would definitely enjoy as well. Alright, I'll sleep with you, but then you tell me everything you know. Can you not just pop off the wild paradise for a moment? <laughs> exactly. In my position, it would not be a wise move to seek out sexual relations with strangers publicly. Not to mention with prostitutes. It could destroy the good name of the Imperial Army, and that is something that I can never allow to happen. <sighs> this is a kid. I have no intention of screwing you. Goodbye. <laughs> can I still... Haven't we? Let's make a deal. I will sleep with you and you will tell me anything we have, but I'm leaving anyway. <sighs> what the hell do we do now? <laughs> it's, I almost wish I was playing a female character here. Was, um, nah, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Check out the Patreon. The link is right here in the video. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.